Friday. Welcome yeah. to Let's Talk Kentucky. I'm your host and moderator, Sherelle Roberts. Oh, I'm so happy to be here because my allergies aren't tearing me up today. It's going to be good. And I'm joined by the Let's Talk team that is also allergy free. We've got Lisa <laughs> High, Kim hey. Dixon, and Susan Mills. We're on a roll. Listen, yes. I just feel like I've been delivered. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can breathe again. You don't have the tissues like clogging your nose. <laughs> That was, Fair. it was a good look for you. It was. <laughs> it was. You rocked it. Just glad to be back. <laughs> it's also National Donut Day. We've had so many mm. donuts already today. They just keep <gasps> showing up out of nowhere. That's I'm, right. I'm not complaining. <laughs> not, yeah. not complaining at all. Breakfast, so. lunch, and dinner. I know. Gosh, so many exciting things happening this weekend. We've got the Real Bird Festival, and then we've got a lot of Pride Festival events coming up because mm -hmm. June is Pride Month, and that is the talk of the town. So there are going to be celebrations happening all month. Lots of people are very, very excited about this, but some of these have been riddled with controversy. We've seen it all month. Businesses featuring Pride merchandise are being boycotted and attacked. Pride events are being threatened by extremists and protesters. Some events like drag shows in other states have been banned. That didn't happen here in Kentucky. The legislature was looking at it at this past legislative session and didn't do it. And so it's just a big mess all around. You know, this weekend is going to be, you know, folks are going to be happy. They're going to be filled with pride. Events are starting this weekend from Covington to Paducah. Then Lexington and Central Kentucky pride events are happening over the next few weekends. But no matter what, this is not going to be a year where Pride Month goes without controversy. And it's something we have to talk about because we talk about everything. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I'm heterosexual, mm -hmm. and the world is designed for us. Mm. Um, every day, every month is heterosexual pride, okay? It's not something that we have to hide. Mm -hmm. It's not something that makes us frightened. I personally am attracted to men. I don't know what it feels like to be attracted to a woman because I'm not. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that feels like, but I know it exists. Just because I don't have those feelings doesn't mean they don't exist. Mm -hmm. I need to mind my own business. I need to understand that other people have feelings that I don't have. Other people have experiences that I don't have. Mm -hmm. And it is not my right to judge anyone based on their natural feelings. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm. I, I agree. just, and I, I see so much anger um, and sometimes violence that turns into violence on, on every side, whether they're straight or gay or bisexual or trans. There's so much violence happening, and I just, I, I, I want everyone to speak in love, right? Yes. There's, I think you can get more accomplished and solve more problems if you speak in love and have compassion, and I think everyone needs a therapist. Yeah, <laughs> yes, uh, everyone. Yes. Yeah. It's everyone. not a bad thing. Everybody. It's not, it's not. And you know what, um, you know, I feel like people sometimes look at these Pride Months or Black History Month as almost a personal attack against them. And it, it always seems to go in that direction for some folks, not everyone, mm -hmm. but it's like, you know, it's not a personal attack against you. You know, all of us have friends and know loved ones that are in the LGBT community. I feel like Pride Month is a, a month for all of us to reflect and to think about our loved ones that are in that community and how we feel about them and how you know we want this community to feel about them as well mm -hmm. yeah yes. you know exactly. my approach from this is no surprise the the political <laughs> approach because you guys know i'm a politico first amendment rights freedom of expression freedom of speech mm -hmm. and freedom of assembly and that's all that pride month and pride festivals are we have folks who want to express themselves through dress through speech, uh, through parade, through flags, through clothing, and that is a First Amendment protected right by the U.S. Constitution. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the right to assembly, to go to parades, to hang out, to go to a drag show, to host a drag show, to be where you want to be and be who you want to be, that is a First Amendment protected right by our Constitution. And if we are Americans, and if we say that we love America, and if we say that we love our Bill of Rights, then we have to respect people's freedom of speech, expression, and freedom of assembly, whether we agree with it or not. 
because that means if I respect yours, you respect mine, and the social contract is maintained. And I think that we have to be very, very careful about getting into these situations where we are saying, it's okay for me to say what I want, but not you. Mm -hmm. It's okay for me to fly my flag, but not you. Mm -hmm. sure. I don't have to like it, but this is America, and I have to respect it. Yeah. Agreed. Well yeah. said. Yeah. Well so, said. Well said. Whew, hopefully, we just solved all the world's problems. There we did. <laughs> now, we, now we just need for people to listen. <laughs> exactly. So everybody stay with us. Coming up after the break, it's the countdown convo. It's going to be extra spicy this time because some scientists say your relationship might be doomed if you and your partner have too big of an age gap. Let's talk about it. West Shore Homes Memorial Day sale is in full swing, and today I'm joined by BJ to learn more. That's right, Joe. I know right now people are gearing up for those summer months and the family vacation, so I'm going to give an opportunity to knock out that project now without breaking the budget. So for a limited time, we're doing bath remodel projects for as little as $99 a month. And people are really loving this offer because it's easy to fit into about just any budget. Well, the chance to get a brand new West Shore Home shower bath for as low as $99 a month, that's pretty incredible. I mean, we're doing everything we can to make remodeling as affordable as possible. Let's take a look at a project. We offer deep soaking tubs, easy step in showers, laser etched tile, and modern accessories to create the perfect bathroom space. Look at this transformation. We can do something like this for as low as $99 a month. Folks, call in now to lock in Memorial Day savings. West Shore Homes extending this offer for one week only. Get your shower bath for as low as $99 a month. And for anybody that calls in now, BJ is going to do free installation on your project. Don't miss out. Call West Shore Home. Confused by all the Camp Lejeune toxic water commercials? Let me answer some of your questions. Are claims filed against the U.S. Marine Corps? No, the U.S. government has set aside billions of dollars for those who have suffered. The Marine Corps will not be impacted. Will a Camp Lejeune claim affect my VA benefits? No. According to the VA, your right to VA benefits will remain intact. If you have questions about a Camp Lejeune claim, call the Driscoll firm now for a free consultation. 1-800-263-4200. Since 2002, over 100 inductees. More than a million dollars raised for charity. That's what the Kentucky Pro Football Hall of Fame means to the Commonwealth. Come join NFL legends at the Kentucky Pro Football Hall of Fame Purple Jacket All-Pro Dinner Party on June 23rd at the Downtown Hilton in Lexington. Mingle, dine, laugh, and share memories with NFL greats for an unforgettable evening. Purchase your table or tickets now. Welcome back to Let's Talk Kentucky. I'm your host and moderator, Sherelle Roberts, back with the Let's Talk team. It's Susan Mills, Kim Dixon, and Lisa High. And over the break, we were just talking about our, the title of our show. It's Let's Talk Kentucky. It's not Let's Think Kentucky, because we say it out loud. It's not Let's Fight Kentucky, because we are always cordial. Yes, and that's what are. makes our show special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't yell. Not no. Let's Yell Kentucky. No. 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 And I think if folks could do it more like we do it out in society, they would be fine. Yes, I agree. Exactly. Let's Just be nice. Other. Okay, with that said, it's time for the countdown convo <laughs> where things get spicy, but we always keep it nice and icy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so first topic. Is age only a number? According to a new relationship study, a no. They say large gaps in age among lovers and married people can be a recipe for disaster. They say more than two, 10 years dooms you for divorce, and five is about the limit. So <laughs> I'm gonna go first on this one. So I think if you've got a huge age gap, like 10, 15, 20 years, you're getting into like sugar daddy, sugar baby territory, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know, if you're doing that, that's an arrangement. You know, you know that you're getting bags and shoes and goodies and things <laughs> in exchange for other services, right? And, and you know, if that's your arrangement, I'm completely good. With it. Cooking, <laughs> cooking, cleaning, what? <laughs> yeah, those services. Uh, those services. <laughs> okay, wink, wink. <laughs> um, you know, I look at this a little differently because my parents were 12 years apart, and they were married 50 some years, and so I mean. For me, I don't see 12 years as that big of a gap. They were very well balanced. I never even, it, I never even took issue with the age at all. So I, I kind of look at this as an, a, a bigger age gap, like 
the 83 and 29 year old. Yes. Yeah, that's, I mean, uh, come on. But 12 years, 10 years, 12, 15, I, I don't see a, a problem there. I think if it get, if that age gap becomes too large, though, mm -hmm. I think one thing that's really cool, because my husband and I do it all the time, is like, especially with the 80s, like, remember that song? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that was awesome. Like, that defined our teenage years. I or, know. You know, different places and songs. It's like, I, I don't know. It's just to have somebody that you can relate to that way, yeah. I think is really cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand that. I, Huge age gap, like huge age gaps were a thing a long time ago. Back in the day, they were. But the problem there is those huge age gaps were usually a very young woman mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a much older man. Mm -hmm. And that that's a whole different category, okay, you guys? Mm -hmm. That's a whole different category, and that's not right. But I think there's a lot of different ways to look at this. Yeah. 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 So whatever uh, relationship you're in, just hang on in there. And as Susan says, go to therapy. Cause therapy <laughs> is good for that's everything. Right. Right. Everyone. All right, up next, a Georgia gun shop owner has been making big bucks selling firearms. So he's shocking many people with his decision to close his gun Gun store. The man says that the increasing number of mass shootings involving kids has caused him to have a change of heart about selling weapons. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I just think um, the, the man made a, a comment that said, um, I have a kid and I don't know if the gun that I sell will be used on my kid. Mm. So I think especially for parents, yes. I, his, his viewpoint changed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, if I was a gun shop owner, I would be just beside myself if a gun that I sold to someone was used in a mass shooting. I, mm -hmm. I, I could never forgive myself, no, I think. No, and, no, and so, and I know no. there's, you know, gun, gun owner or gun shop owners out there, you know, they may look at that completely different, but I, I personally wouldn't be able to do it. So, you know, kudos to this guy. He knows himself. He's not going to take on that responsibility. He doesn't want to bear that burden the rest of his life. Yeah. yeah. I have a ton of respect for this guy because whenever there's a mass shooting, we get two reactions in the media. Mm -hmm. The left goes, oh my gosh, the guns are the problem. And then the right goes, oh my gosh, mental health is the problem. And you know what gets done? Nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing because everybody wants to argue about the cause. And I think this guy said, no, people and guns and people's mindsets and guns are the problem. Yes. And he decided to take action, and that is more than our lawmakers are doing. Mm -hmm. Yep, and absolutely. And I respect this guy. We should elect him instead of these other people that want to argue about foolishness instead of getting yes. stuff done. Yes. Congrats mm -hmm. to this guy. I mean, he took a stand. He, he stated, this is not, not everyone has to do this. I'm not telling everyone else to do this. This is my decision, yeah. is what he said. And, and good for him for standing up for his principle, because that's hard. He's closing his business. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Love this guy. All right. Have you ever seen kids acting up in public and you just wanted to go get them? set them straight or do you have a family member that's raising little hellions and every time you go you go over to see their house they're just climbing on stuff and carrying on and that guy is thinking how do you deal when you see bad kids out in public what do you do kim mm -mm. there was there was i remember the day the day that i decided that i didn't want to have kids was <laughs> it was in kroger that very one incident i was pushing my cart which was pretty heavy you know so pushing the cart this kid on my left looks directly at me and runs in front of the car, <laughs> trying to get me to hit him. And then he looks at me after he's done his little thing. And I just looked at him, I go. <sighs> <laughs> ran off. But that's the day I decided not to have kids. So it's in your core now. Yes, it, just, it is it, in it my core. I will in not, DNA. Me, not to tolerate. <laughs> no. I think, um, well, manners have kind of flown out the window, yes. I think. Yes. You know, there's like, what, what's etiquette now? Mm -hmm. And uh, I know my parents, um, and mom I love you um, but before we went into a store or another person's home basically our lives were threatened <laughs> if you do this yes. so help me mm -hmm. I will you know the nostrils <laughs> flared yeah. and uh, and we knew to behave ourselves mm -hmm. even before my son could could speak right I was <laughs> teaching him sign language for please and thank you and mm. guess what he still yep. says it yes he yes says it. Mm -hmm. as a parent you just have to stay on mm -hmm. them they're always gonna they're gonna do crazy out in public all the time, but I've flared my nostrils at my kids several times and it works. I mean, they <laughs> fear God at that point. And Doug has done the same. So yeah, I feel like, you know, kids, you know, you gotta wrangle them in.
wrangle, wrangle them. them in. We just All got right. wrangled in. We did, we did. But we're not bad kids. We're good kids. Yeah. We know that it's time for the break. So coming <laughs> up after the break, you can make art with all sorts of objects, but our guest is doing it with little bite-sized treats. Stay with us. Next ET, Donna Summer's daughter shares rare stories in home movies. When she was home, she was mommy. The new documentary about the queen of disco. Next ET, tonight at 7 on ABC 36. I'm John Morgan. If you've been injured on the job, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan, Pound Law, that's all. You're invited to come be our guest this Sunday at Southland. For service times and campus locations, head over to our website at southland.church. At Rally's, I'm in the driver's seat. Give me that $5 meal deal with a Rally burger or a mushroom Swiss burger with fries, chicken bites, and a drink for just five bucks. Whatever you order, own it at Rally's. Get your late night flavor fix. The number one family Lego fan event is coming to Lexington, Kentucky, with the most creations built by professional Lego artists all under one roof. Join thousands of fellow Lego fans at the Central Bank Center for the Brick Universe Lego Fan Convention on June 3rd and June 4th. Come meet professional Lego artists from around the country, explore incredible Lego exhibits, build your own Lego creation, get an autographed print and photo with your favorite Lego artists, find rare and new Lego sets and accessories, and so much more. Visit www.brickuniverseusa.com for tickets and and more information. I am what hunger looks like in America. I was created by artificial intelligence from faces of the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. Watch What You Eaten every Wednesday on Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. Brought to you by Zucker. This is everything I ever dreamed of! Ah! The summer of 69 was the best summer ever. It'd be cool. You were the best Peter Pan ever, baby. Those two hours and 23 minutes really flew by. The Wonder Years returns Wednesday, June 14th on ABC. The Let's Talk Kentucky. I'm Sherelle Roberts here with the Let's Talk team. It's Lisa High, Kim Dixon, and Susan Mills. And our special guest at the table is cookie artist Kyla Sissy Collins. Hey, Kyla! Yay. Thank we are so, so glad to me. have you. <laughs> now, we've been calling you the cookie lady, the cookie artist, but your jacket says cookie hustler. I love it. <laughs> I answer to all of the above <laughs> as well as sissy. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so you literally, we are blown away. So we are just going to get right to the cookies because you <laughs> brought just an array of the most gorgeous artwork. Tell Thank us you. all about what we're looking at here. You can just start okay. over there uh, to your left. So over here. I actually just got back from a cookie conference, kind of like Comic-Con, but for cookiers. Oh! <laughs> so that's one of the cookies that I made while I was there. It focused on Hungarian folk art. Uh-huh. And then the other cookies are actually for my brother's graduation party this evening. <gasps> oh, my gosh! <laughs> so it's his favorite class, um, his football helmet, all of that kind of oh. stuff, and then a little birthday set that I made a few extra. Yeah, of. Kim, can you pick up one of the cookies? Because the details are so intricate. Um, <laughs> they really are. This yeah, is yeah. One of, And just hold it up to the kids so they can see this. So this one looks like, I don't even, explain it. Yeah, hold it so, up and, so folks can see it. Um, Look at this. I actually took a class that specialized in Hungarian folk art while I was there because my grandpa is Hungarian. Um, so the details on those always are uh, honey-based gingerbread, which is different than American gingerbread. Uh -huh. um, and then there's always lots of lace detail, florals, um, and little um, like doily flowers, yes. all kinds of things. It's beautiful. They can be bold colors or they can be all white, but they're amazing. It looks like you like sewed it. So tell yes. us about this one. Um, this one this here. Cool. So this and you one, can hold this up if you want, because I think we'll get a better look at it. Um, and, and tell us how you kind of got into cookie decorating while you show okay. it. Yeah. So this one was a collaboration when Beyonce released her last album. <gasps> Oh. It's all of her album covers. The backs are actually also decorated. Um, so I got into cookies. I'm one of those people that is always like, I could probably do that myself 
eventually. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so one year at Christmas, um, my sister-in-law and I decided to try sugar cookies. We did zero research. We just were winging it. It was a disaster. <laughs> they That's taste, how you learn. Yes, they exactly. tasted good, but they were not pretty. And that bothered me. Um, I started out making cakes for my family, and I figured it would kind of translate. Like, I can make a pretty cake. Surely I can make a pretty cookie. It doesn't translate. It's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> so after many trips back to the store for our husbands that night to buy more powdered sugar after we messed something up, to buy more butter after we messed something up, um, I was determined to keep trying it out. Um, so I just kept practicing whenever I would have friends have baby showers, things like that. I'd be like, oh, I can bring a dessert. And it'd give me an excuse to try it. And eventually I got to the point where people started having friends ask, like, hey, where did you get those? Um, so I had my son in 2020 and decided I would stay home with him and try to see if I could make it a business. And it's kind of taken off from there. Look at that. So, I mean, this was not your original career. What did you start out like doing <laughs> as an adult? So I actually used to work in oral surgery. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I see the connection. Wow. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> not at all related. Um, but I've always been a creative person. In college, I had a bow tie business. So I would sew custom bow ties because my best friend and I always wanted to match for formal. And instead of me trying to find a dress to match what he had, I would just make him a bow tie to match what I wanted to wear. <laughs> Brilliant. And it kind of took off from there. And then I got into cakes because I wanted to make my dad a baseball cap um, cake for his birthday and then cookies. Oh my <laughs> God. All right, now shall we save the best for last? Show us, oh, show so, us this last one. Let's I lift it up. We just celebrated one month on air and I thought, a cookie cake. Look at oh, oh, Let's talk us. Kentucky. Woo! And it's got all of it's our got all faces. Of you. Oh, that's awesome. That that's is so adorable. So cool. Oh my goodness. I love how you took the wrinkles off of mine. Too. That's <laughs> yeah. so awesome. Love it. Very photoshopped. So what's you know, you are a small business owner. We gotta ask you real quick, but you're yes. just a small business owner. What are your challenges? How are you making it work out here? Um, I don't sleep and I drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> Being honest. I know that story. Yes. Yeah. So I actually keep my son home with me during the day. Mm -hmm. So my work day is from his bedtime around 8.30 or so until whenever the cookies are done. Wow. So, um, so that's just kind of how we're juggling it right now. It was really important to me to be able to stay home with him. So cookies kind of started as that. It was a way for me to be able to stay home. And now it's kind of taken on a bigger role than that. Now it's really, really important to who I am. It gives me something outside of being a mom after uh -huh. being home all day with kids where I get to put on a podcast or an audiobook, listen to whatever I want to listen to, have some silence, and just create something for somebody. Oh, Kyla Collins. I love that story. Cookie Hustler, yeah. Cookie Lady. Cookie Mama, all of the above. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much and for I'm having me. I'm so excited to eat my face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up after the break, the internet is not always a safe place for women, but there might be a way we can change that. We'll talk about it in What's Trending. Let's Talk Kentucky is brought to you by Critchfield Meats. You like to keep your beard perfectly groomed, but your hair shavings fly everywhere, and she hates that mess. It's impossible to clean up. Introducing Vacu Trim by Bell & Howell, the total body electric shaver that trims your hair and vacuums it up at the same time. Vacu Trim has 20 precise trim length settings built in, so you just dial and trim, groom, shape and edge without any messy whiskers in the sink. Vacu Trim's ultra sharp stainless steel blades give you a precision cut, while the built in vacuum captures all the trimmed hair. Vacu Trim's vacuum action is so powerful, just watch how it cleans up all this hair. Don't fumble with attachments. Snap on the guide to shape your beard, edge sideburns, or remove the guide to tame unwanted body hair. Get your vacuum trim for only $39.95 and we'll even ship it to you free. Order now. Call 1-800-348-7824 or go to vacuumtrim.com. So call 1-800-348-7824. That's 1-800-348-7824 or go to vacuumtrim.com. Flashing lights. See them? and you know to go slow. Now we put that same technology in the palm of your hand with Lizard Flare. It's the high-tech safety flare with no flame. Lizard Flare uses 15 high-intensity LED strobes that can be seen nearly a mile away and a powerful magnet that sticks to your car without exiting the vehicle. Look, 
flares are dangerous, but Lizard Flare won't let you down. A dead battery, an empty gas tank. With Lizard Flare, help is on the way. Lizard Flare Pro has an ultra-bright flashlight, too. Get your Lizard Flare for only $9.99, but wait, Lizard Flare may be discontinued. Due to rising costs, Lizard Flare is stopping manufacturing effective immediately. There is a strict limit of two vehicle packs per order. Call now. This may be your last chance, so call 1-800-952-7071. That's 1-800-952-7071, or visit lizardflare.com. Order now. Welcome back to Let's Talk Kentucky. We are back with the Let's Talk team and Kyla Collins is still hanging out with us so we can talk about what's trending. So, you know, the internet can be like a creepy and weird place, especially for women. So two women have created a new search engine for women. It's called Ask DM. You can log in and hopefully get trustworthy women geared responses. Um, and I'm excited about it. Ladies, not so much. <laughs> I know, I, is it safe? Uh, really? No. They're gathering information on us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if, if they're trying to protect us, I'm, I'm open to that, but I, I don't know enough about it, I think, to really... Yeah. So you have to sign up. There are rules to be in the community. Yeah. We, I, I'm going to try it out. I want to see if it's safe or not. So mm -hmm. if you're a lady and you think the internet's creepy, maybe think about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay, everybody, we like to end each show by highlighting a woman we're talking about, an outstanding person who's making our family or community better. Today's woman is is Kimberly Johnson. Kim Johnson is the president of One Commonwealth Financial Group. She's an active member of the Rotary Club of Lexington, serving on several project committees. She's a board member for God's Closet and is active in her sorority alumni chapter, Kappa Kappa Gamma, and the Professional Women's Forum. She also serves on the board of the Lexington chapter of the Society of Financial Professionals. So congratulations, Kim. You are a woman worth talking about. And folks, don't forget, nominate somebody in your life who's making a difference. Go to the Let's Talk Kentucky page on WTVQ.com to nominate them. And today is the last day, the last day, the last day. Today is the last day to sign up for the Cameron Mills basketball sign, basketball giveaway, yes. and the autograph poster. Susan, what do they need to do? They need to go to WTVQ.com, register, put your email address. It's super easy. Go to our Instagram, Let's Talk KY. Follow, please, and, and tag. then tag a friend. All right, y'all, this is it. Easy. Thank you for watching. We had a great show. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Yeah, bye, everyone.